take a break here. Joseph, just like you said, a lot of clouds today. Yeah, we have the clouds still kind of warm out there. Tomorrow the clouds are also going to bring the rain, so it's just taking what we can right now. Temperatures in the 70s, but notice that we have a little pocket of blue coming out of our Vancouver camera right there, and we have some blue sky there out of McMinnville. A little more overcast to the north there for Kalama and as well as Seaside, where there's some clouds streaming on through tomorrow. Cloudy and probably a little rainy as well. Let's take a look at what we have coming up. We're going to have some cooler weather by the time we head into Friday. Today I have mid 70s. Nice day. This is kind of the weather story. We get into Thursday and Friday here. We'll start off at 74 on Thursday. Some showery moments that goes for Friday as well. But then look at the weekend. Temperatures are going to be in the 60s, lower 60s. And Saturday, I think, may even be a soaker, not only here west of the mountains, but maybe even portions of central and, and southern Oregon, eastern Oregon. So we'll talk about that. All right, 72 degrees right now of Hillsborough. We have Beaverton at 73, just about the same coming out of Portland and Vancouver. 69 for Ridgefield. This is the warmest part of the day. And 74 for Troutdale. So we didn't quite make it to the upper 70s today, but still one of the warmest days that we've had so far this May. And that means this year. All right, you can see those high thin clouds streaming in from the southwest. Nothing too thick, so we're not going to block out the sun completely until we start seeing this arrive. An area of low pressure is going to start moving in our direction. And right behind it, we have another one which is going to move in on Saturday. Watch this ridge kind of break on down as this low continues to move east. That's going to allow for that ridge that's over us right now to also shift to the east. We keep everything kind of compressed right here, so it's kind of a battle between this trough and that ridge to the south. But what it's going to do, it's going to allow for a westerly flow here, and that's going to really pick on up as we go through Friday. We'll watch an area of low pressure develop on Saturday, which is going to bring in some rain and likely some gusty conditions for the central Oregon coast. And we'll look at that on the future cast so we have a better idea of what it actually looks like. As far as the weekend goes, plan on some rain. Saturday for sure, temperatures in the 60s, 62 degrees on Sunday with a couple scattered showers. And Monday there at 65 degrees with a few showers as well. So if you want to get out for Memorial Day, Monday's a good day to probably do it, probably in the afternoon too. All right, future cast. Let's just kind of speed through things so we can really take a look at that Saturday. As I get you through the overnight, notice that's cloudy for Thursday. A couple of scattered showers. They're here for the afternoon, evening hour, so it's going to be a little wet tomorrow for your commute home. Friday, we'll keep a couple showers in the forecast as well, but looking pretty dry. You can see that we have some moisture around, but it's not going to be as heavy as what arrives on Saturday. That's this system right here. Area of low pressure is going to reach right to the central Oregon coast. It's going to bring some heavy rain on Saturday through the morning and into the afternoon. I'm also concerned for some very strong wind. Watch it does though. It makes it all the way through the state. So central and eastern Oregon is going to get some decent moisture there as well. All right, here's your seven day forecast. I have us at 70, uh, 76 degrees for our Thursday. We'll keep temperatures in the 70s, uh, at least for tomorrow. And then we're down into the lower 60s Saturday and Sunday, Monday at 65, mainly dry for Memorial Day. All right, we'll be back after the break.